pear cider I got into yesterday. Oh, you had a drink yesterday, oh, didn't you? Loved it. You had a little beaker full of wine earlier this week. Oh, yeah. Well, let's get into that, right? <laughs> I went around John's on Wednesday and he went, Yeah, do you want some wine? And uh, I went, Yeah. Like I do, you know. And I went, Yeah, go on then. And he pulls out like a kid's beaker. <laughs> you, you know the one, you know, we've no, got... little two handles yeah, and a little two hand. <laughs> Yeah, and, and starts chuckling at himself <laughs> and showing it to everyone in the room. <laughs> look what I've got him to drink out of. Look, look at me. <laughs> and nobody questioned... I did not say that. And nobody questioned... I had to say that because you were swinging from my light switch with no clothes on. But nobody questioned, was I doing that, John? No, no, <laughs> no. You, <laughs> but nobody questioned the fact that you had a child's beaker mm. and you knew where it was. It was mm. underneath your sink. I, I haven't got a child's beaker, it was just cold. <laughs> I was given that beaker as a gift. I used to have a beaker as a kid. Well, I think we all had a beaker yeah, as a kid. Yeah, that's fine. You're supposed to have one as a kid. Had... But when you're a single man living on your own in Swindon, you're not supposed to have a beaker I... to hand underneath your sink. I had mine too long, my mm. beaker. Yeah. And that means that when I drink, I still suck. I, I can't pour liquid into my mouth. I have to let it touch and then suck. It's ruined the way I drink liquids. So my mum bought me a beaker as a gift on my 21st birthday. Ah. And I've kept it, and I remember thinking, that'll be good for Russell, because he spills everything. That's a fair point. And it's good. I'll tell you what's really good for when you're hungover. Because uh, the worst thing, like, if you know you've got one that's hungover so bad you can't move, and you think, even if I have to lean over to get yeah. the water, I'm going to be sick. Yeah. The beaker, you can bring it to your face without moving, and just suck the water out of yeah. it, and then just pop it back. No dangerous spillage. That's perfect as well, because it doesn't look weird either. You know, drink. No, from, well, let's be honest. There's no one beaker. else there. It's like, do you have to? Do you mind if but I drink? Out you had it when you were at uni, so I guess that wouldn't look like a breakdown at all, would it? You, the day after you drinking heavily, you're sat in your pants drinking from a beaker. Good night, John. <laughs> That's for when you're in bed. You yes. have it by your bed on your bedside cabinet. Just a beaker. Yeah. What do you fill it full of? Milk. Water. Ugh. Water. Water. I Anyways. tried having squash, but the thing is, if you have a really bad hangover and you drink a squash, for the rest of your life, that squash then reminds you of that hangover. There you go. But I can't drink orange and peach flavoured squash now. It just reminds me of... Oh, God. Do you, do you want to go into it, John? No, no, no. no, no. 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 